everyone welcome back to the channel Sidek Guru in this video, I'm going to compare the display comparison between the iQOO 7 versus the iQOO Z5 device. So this is another most requested question friends asking me to compare both phones in terms of the display. The main reason is because the iQOO Z5 has got the IPS LCD panel and whereas the iQOO 7 has got the AMOLED panel. Let's see how much difference can it be there between these both phones in terms of the display types. That's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate in this video. So this video I'm going to do very very in-depth comparison friends between these both phones. So I'll try to do the video comparison when there is no studio lighting effect and with studio lighting effect when there is no lights at all that's what i meant so in this way we'll be able to identify which display has got a what type of colors is it really good ips lc panel display or not because some phones they'll try to use the ips lc panel normal ones some other phones they'll try to use really kind of enhanced version of the ips lc panel they look kind of really good but let's see what happens in this iQOO z5 case that's what i'm going to exactly find out so first let's go to the settings option which is present here slightly increase the brightness yeah so let's go to the display and let's see what is the default settings i'm trying to use in terms of the screen colors because that's also a really very important thing you should know what type of settings i'm using at, the, at this point i'm trying to use exactly let me need to uh, decrease the brightness a little bit yeah bright option in both phones i've selected the bright option only as you can see here, I'm trying to select the default, so it went to the default as well. Same options I'll select it between both phones in terms of the properties, as you can see exactly, same display. And now we got to know about this thing, and now next I need to do the display screen test as well, in terms of the calibrating screen. So which colors got calibrated in what way in both phones? So first let's do the calibration test and from this part I won't edit any of this video at all so no colors or nothing got enhanced. So this will give the clear idea of what is going on between this both phones regarding the color and colors and everything. So first let me try to show you the what is happening with the screen colors with the maximum brightness test which I'm going to do right now when the studio lights are on and next step without studio lighting effect that's what I'm going to exactly demonstrate. This is the maximum brightness maximum brightness already I'm trying to show you what is happening. So you can see the display in the iQOO Z5 looks little bit dull. I mean little bit because it doesn't have that much kind of high brightness like the iQOO 7 device. You can clearly see the brightness how it is. This is the next color which I'm trying to show you. I hope you understand what I meant in terms of the brightness levels. So little bit dull colors it displaying in the iQOO Z5 device. So that can be because of the eye brightness only friends. So that's it as you can clearly see little bit. And now next minimum brightness test I need to do when there is no lighting effect. So this is how I'll be doing the recording the screen calibration every time. Every time I get a new phone. So this is how I'll try to test it. Minimum brightness test. So this is a minimum brightness test which I'm trying to do right now. So this light what is blinking is a proximity sensor. Don't worry about that light. Proximity sensor only. And it's a minimum brightness test which I'm trying to do. And you can see the colors how it is representing in the minimum brightness. So in the minimum brightness, iQOO Z5 color slightly kind of looks bright, little bit. You can try to observe slightly in the iQOO sound looks, it's kind of washed out a little bit. But iQOO Z5 looks a little bit kind of good. That's another thing which I thought of just mentioning for you all. And now let me try to start playing the, otherwise let me try to sh show you the screen colors, different colors, how they are looking in the no brightness mode. I mean, in terms of the low light. So this is a problem with the I AMOLED panels, they'll be completely black colors, but IPS LCD panels, you can actually see a little bit kind of shade. That's another thing which the IPS LCD panels has got. So right now I'm trying to play the same video between both phones, same video bins in the low brightness mode, you can clearly see. So both phones are really kind of very close to each other in terms of the brightness, uh, in terms of low mode signals. So when there is low lighting at all, it completely this one is the iQOO Z5. This one is the iQOO Z5, the light which is blinking here, which is a proximity sensor. So that's how you will you'll get to know which phone is what phone. So don't confuse. I'll need to increase little by little brightness as well, slowly. Five. I think I'll need to keep it seven, exactly seven I'm trying to keep. Brightness. So you can see the iQOO sounds bright. Screen is very much, much brighter because of the high brightness level. That's the reason you're trying to see more brightness. And if you try to look closely, try to observe. The top one is iQOO Z5, iQOO Z5 and iQOO 7. There's not much huge difference friends, to be frank, you can try to observe the colors. It looks kind of very close to each other friends, to be frank, exactly. Try to observe it in this spot as well. Very close, you can see this kind of green and green. 
it's not a i think little bit difference is there maybe this panel might be slightly different than the other ips lcd panel that's what i'm expecting so is another video which i thought of comparing side by side so now you'll be able to get to know what is happening i'm going to increase the brightness to full brightness so full brightness right now i'm trying to use and you can actually see in the iq z5 and the iq7 display how they are performing so complete darkness so and the viewing angles in the iq z5 not bad in terms of the viewing angles it was kind of good you can actually see the colors as well even from the viewing angles different different no issues nothing at all and iq7 also has got really good viewing angles no problem now let me need to turn on the lights and let's see what happens i'm trying to turn on the lights and right now you will be able to see the brightness so in terms of the brightness the iq z5 has got slightly kind of uh, low brightness which is kind of uh, expected as i said that's the reason you are trying to see slightly brighter images and not that bright images on the top but in my opinion friends it's not a huge difference i mean little bit difference is there only if you compare side by side with the amoled panels only then you will be able to understand what is happening with the display mainly that's another thing i wish the iq could have included the amoled panel at least yes that could be really big plus point for the iq z5 phone at this point but that's another, another thing but there's no green tint problems there is no flickering issues will happen in the ips lcd panel that's also another advantage those problems will not happen in the ips lcd panels not bad in terms of wing angles and colors and everything it looks really good let me know in the conversation below friends what are your thoughts which display do you think really best one i'm trying to keep it exactly 10 percentage brightness and i'm going to slightly decrease to the 5 so 5 brightness in both phones at this moment so not bad overall in terms of the display quality nothing much major difference but uh, yes having the amoled panel slightly feels kind of good and saturated but even in the iq z5 also it's con kind of not bad at all i can definitely say that i'll try to do the side by side comparison with iq z3 and uh, poco x3 pro which i'm having right now then we'll be able to understand what is happening with the colors mostly with other phones so let me know in the comment section below friends with what displays you want me to compare side by side definitely i'll try to do do my best to post the comparison with those displays as soon as possible in my channel and don't forget to follow the playlist which i created for the iqoo z5 so iqoo z5 playlist will clearly help you to know all the details about this phone is it best of option to buy this iqoo z5 or not is there any alternate choice to buy other than iqoo z5 that's all i'll try to uh, investigate on this device thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates and the final winner is the uh, obviously the iqoo 7 device which has got amoled panel but still don't underestimate the iqoo z5 as well it's kind of good if you want to avoid that green tint problem and screen flickering issues so you can definitely choose the iqoo z5 because iqoo z5 doesn't have that, that kind of flickering problems in the iqoo 7 you can see the flickering little bit happening in the iqoo z5 sometimes flickering so that's it friends thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video and stay tuned for more updates Meanwhile signing off bye